situation ended up with such decision to refuse gastrostomy and further active treatments because of the poor prognosis and subtle severity of his condition. The fact that the patient has refused such therapeutic interventions may indicate sense of hopelessness and to some extent acceptance of poor modifiability of his case, including the idea of death. The patient is in the right place to refuse his proposed treatments because in the first place, the patient has the right to refuse treatments and choose treatment according to the patient's Bill of Rights. Moreover, as averred by the Code of Ethics for Philippine Registered Nurses, Article 2, Section 4, individual freedom of patients to make rational and unstrained decisions shall be respected. Hence, it is more than appropriate to support the patient's decision relative to his care, but still, as part of our responsibilities, under palliative care, we have to exhaust all initial interventions like exploring, psychological support, and presenting alternative treatments appropriate for the patient's care. We have also thought that the patient is going through stages of grief. Kubler-Ross stated that a person will go through stages of grief upon the loss of relative or family member or severe disappointment. The patient, to a certain extent, had been disappointed of the outcome of his condition. Hence, it is expected that grieving process is imminent. We have to initiate interventions appropriate for each stages of grieving that the patient is going through. Also, if we respect the patient's decision, then we are applying the principle of autonomy. Nurses should respect and promote the autonomy of persons and help them to express their health needs and values and also to obtain desired information and services so that they can make informed decisions. Moreover, under the discussion of prolonging life issues, it is encouraged that the judgment about whether extraordinary treatment is to be refused or withheld is best left to the patient or to the family.